Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and it's beer review time. It's another Virgin beer review. We're carrying on with our sour beers. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, I am. If you just found us here on YouTube, go on and do the thing, and I'll say at the beginning of all these videos, I'll say it once again. Like, share, subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We like hoppy beer. We like good house music. We're on hoppy beer. Well, we're on sour beer. So we're looking at sours. Uh, I've already done a Berlin of Isa and I've done a Goza. First time ever having a Goza. Um, go have a look at my previous review, which was Salty Kiss by Magic Rock Brewing. Not Northern Rock, Magic Rock, Magic Rock. Um, it was great. It was, excuse me. And again, apologies for the burping. I do tend to find sour beers make you burp. So it's quite good. I did feel like I had a bit of indigestion. Um, earlier so it's sort of clearing it that's ace that's great right shall we crack on and see what we're going to review right now another virgin beer review from one of my favorite breweries okay so this was available in tesco i don't think it's available anymore i think they've discontinued it but again it was available in tesco i got it directly from the website and i think at the moment it's still available go have a look because sometimes i think i got this when it was reduced in price so they do tend to reduce it in price so maybe it's being discontinued i don't know it's the old logo do you know what it is it's vocation brewery it's this it's their twisted sour i even got a dented can no wonder it was discounted it's a valencia you're not going to read that there are is camera gonna pick it up no no it's a valencia and blood orange sour 440 milliliter can 4.5 percent abv so we're slowly going up the ABV ladder on these sours. None of them are particularly that heavy. So the first one we did was the Drygate Tone Burst, the Berlin of Ice, that was 3.2%. I suppose it's like an entry level, isn't it? And the Salted, the salt, Salty Kiss was the last one, which was the Goza, which I loved it. I, I, it's another beer style I've never tried before. I, I, I thought it was cracking. Right, should we get this out into the glass? It's got, of course, the location glass for this, again, Old logo on the glass, got that reduced and on. I think they've finally sold out of the vocation glasses now though. Don't even get them anymore. Uh, again, it's another golden coloured beer. I've not had any bizarre looking fruity ones yet. I've seen some people review stuff that are like purple and pink and all sorts. However, I see floaters. I see floaters, lots of floaters. Don't think the camera will pick it up. So it's a can condition sour beer. There are definitely particles and floaters in there. Uh, yeah, it is a, again, it's quite a hazy, got a bit of a white head on it. It's golden, pure golden in color, I'd say. It looks more darker and amber on, on camera, but when I put it up to the light, it's pure golden, and it fades a bit of light gleam through at the bottom, and there's loads of particles in there. You see that, the bottom? See it? They're all like there. Nah, it's not gonna pick it up, is it? The camera's rubbish for stuff like that. Right. Should we give it away and see what we can sniff? Ooh, I am getting orange. I'm getting tart orange. I'm getting that soda pop gun smell, which I always get with sours. I've learned to accept that now, it doesn't put me off. Normally, if you gave me that, with that smell, I'd say, hey mate, your syrup's gone. So the popcorn, the syrup goes, and you get that sort of smell. But I'm also getting tart orange, Valen is it Valencia blood orange? I don't know, it's just a tartness of an orange. And so the popcorn smell, right. Oh yeah, it's getting a bit more, does smell more sweeter orange, so yeah, it does smell like Valencia, it's sort of your Satsumari, Nectarini type jobby. That sound in the background is my boiler whirring because I have got the central heating on to help with um, the drying of clothes. Can't put it outside now; it's too bloody cold. November. Right, yeah. Smells, smells like I'd expect a sour to smell by now. Right, let's bottoms up and down the hatch. Cheers, everybody. It's orangey. It's 
definitely, definitely orangey. The orange comes through in abundance. It is tart. It's a little bit sour, but it's not overly sour. Sourness there. But there is some sort of sweetness from that orange. The fizz element is there from the soda pop kind of taste. It's not as good as the last beer it had. I have to say, it's not as... I don't know what to expect. It's not as tart as I thought. It's, it's actually quite sweet for a sour. Um, it's not a bad drink, but it is a bit disappointing. Compared to what I've just had, maybe. I don't know. But I tell you what, let's do some lacer vision. For those that love the lacing, laces really nicely. Really, really, really jig, 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 jig. Yeah, you get the idea. It looks tremendous in the glass. Still got those floaters that are settled at the bottom, although I think I've jigged them around a bit in the glass now. Really getting that orangey smell now. But the soda pop gun smell is still prominent, and it's the main factor, it's the main thing in the aroma. Whoa. If you hold it in the mouth for a while, then you, excuse me again, then you swallow it, that's when you get the tartness. It's, uh, it doesn't quite make your eyes water, but it's sort of on the way to. It's nice. It's, it's, it's a refreshing. These sour beers I actually find quite refreshing uh, and they get rid of me indigestion. It's great. Um, yeah, I think this was Castle Rock's sort of a uh, Castle Rock or Colin Castle Rock, no vocation. I'm calling. I was caught on the last video. I was calling uh, Magic Rock, Northern Rock. Now I'm calling Vocation Castle Rock. I don't, I don't know why I call them Castle Rock Brewery. Um, it's because recently I've been online. I've been trying to get. I was looking at this glass and I was trying to get one of these glasses of Castle Rock on it. <coughs> Trying to put it in order, but they're sold out. It's obviously in your mind. I was thinking Castle Rock. Ignore me. We'll carry on. Vocation, vocation, vocation. Uh, I think this was their one of their first sours they put out. They did put it out into Tesco. Um, they have done some more sours that are available exclusively online. They've done a, a collaboration with Polly's, uh, and they've done a couple, uh, but some are like eight percent. Some are actually quite high ABV ones. So I think this was their, maybe their, their stepping stone into sours, um, and it's nice, it's refreshing, um, but the last beer I had was better. I've got to be honest, and I really love Vocation Brewery as well, you know how many beers I get from them. Um, right, so, Twisted Sour, Valencia and Blood Orange Sour. This is our super crisp, teasingly twisted taste of summer. Gently kettle soured to complement and enhance the citrus notes of Valencia and Blood Orange. It's summer in a can. Vocationbrewery.com. This beer is unpasteurized and unfiltered, may contain sediment. It certainly does contain sediment, and my boilers certainly were in a way. Ingredients We have water, malted barley, wheat, Valencia orange, blood orange, hops, and yeast. When I got this, it was reduced down to I think about two fifty, two pound or two pound fifty a can. Um, so on Vocation Brewery because I think they've got some more deals coming up. You know, it's coming up to Christmas, isn't it? So they've got more deals and reductions and all that Black Friday stuff as well. Well, Black Friday's probably done now, but mm. Yeah, it's quite poor. Oh, oh, it is quite tight if you keep it in your mouth. Ooh, uh, but yeah, it's probably 
I like to t I like to taste beer like I taste wine. So I'll swirl it around in my mouth, really get flavour. Some people just go oomph. You know, if you're just going to chug it back, you could be drinking anything, couldn't you? Um, but I'm not going to go at anyone. That's just my style. You know, I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't judge anyone on what they do or what they don't do. It's, it, it's your life, isn't it? Everyone's got an opinion, like an arsehole. Uh, right. Yeah, it's, um, it's it's all right. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Maybe it could have been refrigerated a little bit longer. It is cold, but it's not cold, cold. It is quite summery in a can, yeah, I'd agree with that. It is quite... I just think that that salty kiss I had beforehand really blew my mind. I've never had a Goza before. I don't think that might not even be a good Goza. Um, but, you know, it was supermarket available, and I really liked it. But I don't want it to... I don't want it to... Tamper with this beer because I like this beer. It's nice. It's refreshing. It's very orangey The one thing it doesn't do Which the other two did is I don't get the little still water bit No, it leaves it leaves you more after, after fruit taste tartness of orange So yes, you get the zinginess the tartness of orange you get the sour down the middle of your tongue you get the tartness down the side and then you've got the aftertaste of an orange in your mouth, like the tart aftertaste. Hmm. I don't know who they are. Random is walking across the back of the flat. Sorry. Sorry, team. Sorry, team. And um, it's good. Okay. So rating wise, I give it a thumbs up. Would I give it more? No. I'll just give it a thumbs up, which means yeah, I'll buy it again. Uh, and who knows when I put in um, another order from Cast no, Castle Rock, so I think. Well, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm bloody saying one brewery is another and one's a bank. When I get another order in from Vocation, if I do put another, another order in um, before Christmas, probably won't. But if I did, and this was at a decent enough price, yeah, I'd stick one of them in my in, in me basket online, on my online cart. Uh, yeah, so thumbs up. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's tart. It's orangey. It does what it says on the tin. Pardon the pun. Uh, like, share, subscribe. We've got one more sour to do. And then the day is through. Ciao for now, people.